YouTube, YouTube, welcome back to the Hot Shot Haven, man. Y'all see it ain't nothing like driving through the mountains and all the scenery and the beauty, man. But what happens when you pull at 10,000 feet and all of a sudden your temperature starts spiking? You realize, hey, fan clutch gone. Now you got to pull over, try and cool the truck off, get it going. I think my truck had the original first case of the coronavirus, man. It was a couple of weeks ago, and as you can see, dealership was wasn't tripping they was they was going hard at their money you know what i'm saying for that turbo also needed a fan clutch as a result of everything going on actuator on the turbo started malfunction so i want a whole brand new turbo i ain't gonna play with it we run too many miles but yeah man come back as you can see building boost doing what it's supposed to do hey running like a soldier like i said dealership wanted ninety eight hundred dollars Four thousand of that was for a fan clutch and the transmission fluid change, which I can gladly do myself. But for that turbo and that two-year warranty and that and, and, uh, uh, warranty again. I feel like the workmanship and everything was, was necessary, but uh, when it comes to the coronavirus and everything like that, that's why I say you got to keep that cash as a viable option, man. You got to keep that cash right, keep that credit strong, man. Do what you got to do. Keep them wheels turning. If they'll let you work, why are you not working? If you just got dedicated customers and everything, get on the low, boy. Try something different. But one thing about it, you cannot sit. If it's not an executive order that makes your truck not move personally, get out and get that money. Now, stay tuned for part two so we can break down how we spent 11, really over 11K in four days and how we had it. And I had to ask nobody for nothing, go borrow nothing and depend on no credit. We trying to make it through the coronavirus in one piece, come out out of debt.